Today we're going to talk about Android Auto. How does it work in your car? I'm going to load some a map onto my phone uh, from my computer and put it in the car and show you how to set up Android Auto. It's very simple. Um, we'll talk about it in just a minute, but let's uh, go and uh, go inside and get on the computer and use Google Maps and send it to my phone and then we'll get in the Corvette and we'll show you how to uh, use uh, Google Maps and also Waze, W-A-A-Z-E. Put that on your phone too before you get in there because then you can try both and see which one you like. I like both. I like the Waze because it shows you where the, usually where all the police are too which is kind of nice if you're going a little bit over the speed limit. So that's today's video, Android Auto, how do you use it in your Corvette? I've opened Google Maps and I'm going to click on, uh, let's see, the Nancy Lopez Golf Course, which is right up there. And uh, it has great food there, by the way, too. <laughs> but anyway, um, and I'm going to get directions. It already knows my address, so that's great. And here's my house and going up to the Nancy Lopez Golf Course. Now, this could be any route that you uh, put together on Google Maps. Now, here's the idea. I want to take this map and send it over to my phone. And then when I take this map and send it over to my phone, then when I hook my phone up, I can use Android Auto and see this map on the Corvette. I'm going to show you how. This is very simple, actually. Uh, if I was just going to use my cell phone, this would be great because I could just pull it up on my cell phone. So I'm going to send the directions. See over here on the left, it says send directions to your cell phone. There's my cell phone right there. There's my email address. There's a text. I can text my phone if I wanted that. So I have three different options, but I want to send it to my phone. And that's what it's doing. It's being sent to my phone down there. Then when I plug my phone in and use Android Auto, I'll be able to see these directions. And it could be any directions that you, and any trip that you planned out um, up on your display in your Corvette. So we've got Android Auto ready to go. Oh, what I forgot to mention was this. Um, you might already have Android Auto on your phone. If you got the latest Android Auto or the latest Android upgrade on your cell phone, on your Android phone, then you've already got Android. I looked for it. I couldn't find it. It's already built in the phone. So you might be looking for an app that's not even there because it's built right into the phone. Android Auto is built right into the phone. So don't be tricked by that. Because <laughs> I looked for that for a while, I finally figured out what the heck was going on. So Android Auto um, is on the latest version of Android. I have my cell phone with me and I have the charging uh, unit that I normally use. And uh, so we're going to get in the car and plug this into the Corvette. And let's see if we can have some fun with uh, Android Auto. All right, so we got the phone plugged in and we're looking up at our display here. And our display tells us that uh, if you look at the Android Auto right here, it normally is just one color, but notice it's two colors. It's got a blue background. And that pretty much tells you that um, you're ready to rock and roll here. So I'm gonna hit Android Auto and then I'm going to hit let me just go back to home for a minute and go to Android Auto and I will get out of this guy right here and you can see that I've Waze already shows up on the screen here there's Waze podcast phone there's maps and uh, what else we got here? We got a few other things, my Chevrolet and news and settings. But what we're interested in today is we want to try, Waze is there, but we're going to try uh, Google Maps. And 
if I go over to my phone and I pull down here, it tells me that I want the directions for Nancy Lopez Golf Club. And look, it comes up on my, when I tapped it on the phone, it comes up on my display here in the car and we're looking at uh, Nancy Lopez Golf Course and the directions to get there and you can see the whole map right there on uh, beautiful look at that so we're ready to go it's going to be five minutes two and a half miles I took a short one but I mean you could have something uh, 200 miles who knows um, you can do a lot with this. So uh, I stop the car up and start driving, and this will take me right to uh, the Nancy Lopez Golf and Country Club, which is uh, five minutes from my house. It's kind of nice, and a very nice golf course, too, by the way. So there you have it. That's, that's uh, Android Auto. Um, it's probably pretty much the same for uh, the iPhone, but... Um, Android Auto is, is uh, works for me <laughs> because I have an Android phone, and like I said, I think I said this earlier. But if you have an if you have an Android phone, Android Auto is built right into it. The only thing you have to have is the Android Auto in your car. In fact, some people have actually told me too that the uh, uh, you can put it in the charging system just in the charging mode and uh, if it has a charger in it like this does in the back that it will uh, connect but I tried it. it my phone won't connect unless I have it hardwired with this cord and plugging it in in the back and if I don't have it plugged into the back it ain't gonna work so there you have it Android Auto if you have any questions leave you a, leave me a note down below make a comment love comments if you like the video hit the like button um, oh, just one other thing. If I want to go to Waze, if I'm driving along and I'm through navigating and everything else, here's Waze right down here on the display. I'm going to tap Waze, and all of a sudden Waze comes up, and what it will do is it will um, alert me if other kind folks have noticed that there was maybe a, uh, a, a, uh, uh, gentlman taking pictures <laughs> we used to say in the old days <laughs> uh, there might be a, a traffic uh, person down there that's giving away free tickets <laughs> so uh, it's nice to know where they're around and all you have to do when you're in ways is just push a button and it'll it'll uh, it will uh, let you know right away I just push the Waze button, and if I see police, I just push that button, and it will automatically put it on the map exactly where I am, uh, so it can let other people know. Traffic crash, uh, map issues if you have any hazards. So all this is there, but this little button here is good, because you can do this while you're driving along, and push the button and help somebody else out. You know. So there you go. Ways, and then we can go back right here down the bottom. We can go down here and go back to Google, and we're back with our maps and our directions to wherever it is we want to go. So there you go. Beats $149.99 for new maps. I've got new maps on here right now, and uh, I didn't. I get new maps all the time with with uh, Google Maps. Very nice, all up to date. My map is, uh, my maps are about uh, 15 months old in my car. So it's pretty old. And uh, the, there's so much construction going on down here, especially in Orlando and up here in the villages. It's super, super duper busy up here. It's almost impossible to keep up with the maps here in the villages for sure. All right. Don't forget to like and also subscribe. We'll uh, keep you posted on uh, the new stuff that's coming out. Thanks for watching. Hope you're having a great day and having a great week.